Hi, I'm Hank Stevens. I'm a product manager here at Intermec. I'm here to talk to you today about how easy it is to set up a data collection network using a Cisco AP541 access point and the Intermec CK3 mobile computer. So, let's get started. We'll start with the access point. Um, this is the AP541N. comes with a quick start guide and a documentation CD. There's the access point. Um, we're here in the warehouse, so Jeff here is going to um, take this uh, access point up and he's going to install it in the ceiling up here. Oop, you ready for that, Jeff? Uh, any other day but today. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, that was going to be the comedy section of the show, so um, I guess so. we're not going to have much comedy today. So we'll get this thing set up over here instead then. Plug in the uh, Ethernet cable. We will put some power on. I can juggle all these things. I'm just going to um, connect this to 110 power. This thing will also run off of power over Ethernet. Um, but this, this sample, we're just going to do the 110. Put some antennas on. This is an uh, 802.11n access point, which means that. Um, it's going to do real well out here in the warehouse. It should handle any um, signals that are bouncing off all this metal racking and the, um, and the um, shelving and et cetera down here very well. Um, so good, ap good access point for this kind of application. Now, full disclosure, I did um, previously um, take this um, access point out of the box and I did turn on the radios. Cisco ships this with the radios turned off. That's a security measure, so that when you turn it on, it's not open for somebody to connect to without, um, without you knowing. Okay, so that thing, that access point is up, and looks like it's running. We will unpack our CK3. Again, quick start guide, documentation CD, the CK3. Now, I did uh, bring down a fully charged battery to use here, so, uh, you may need to charge batteries before you uh, try this yourself. So, got that battery installed. CK3 is um, powered on. We can see here the CK3 comes up and it's not connected. Um, so, what we're going to do to get connected, we will scan these two barcodes. So, we'll scan the first barcode. That brings up this little application, just asking us to scan the next barcode. We will do that. And um, going to process, going to think about that. It says success. The configuration values have been set. OK to reboot. We'll reboot. Um, and that's going to go ahead and it's going to apply all the configuration settings that are contained in that barcode. Now, just a, a word about the uh, configurations of the CK3. There are three models here. The models with different types of imagers. Um, one is a linear imager. Now this is a 2D barcode, so that linear imager is not going to read that barcode. You want to make sure you order one of the two models that has the, the 2D, um, the area imager um, installed in it. And of course, if you also order um, the CK3 with the terminal emulation pre-installed, that'll help you get connected also to your, um, your back-end warehouse management system. All right, so this thing is up. It's um, trying to connect. Looks like it has connected here, so we'll see there. Um, wireless manager network card is now connected. Okay, that's it. So we're up, we're running, we're connected to our access point. Um, so there you go. Save yourself a little bit of time and effort in getting your network configured by a, um, Cisco AP541N access points and get CK, uh, Interbec CK3 mobile computers. Thank you.